Hi, Hiram here. Back in September I tried to uh, get some water to boil using four tea light candles and uh, it just didn't go too good. I used four regular tea light candles with a standoff pot stand. This one matter of fact. The four candles got water hot but just couldn't get it over the top for boiling. I did a couple of other uh, videos too. I'll leave links to them down below. But earlier, sometime earlier, I had made a modification to the tea lights where I added four wicks for the standard wicks to tea lights in here. And that got to water, water to a boil, but I don't remember what the times were. So I thought maybe what I have to do is modify the tea lights again. Now, tea lights are really easy to modify because they come right out of the tin. And the wicks themselves are just put through a hole in the wax. And you got these little little doohickey wicks. So what I did was I took four tea lights, I don't know how many I need, and I made new wicks out of cotton, <coughs> excuse me, cotton pipe cleaners. Now these are pipe cleaners made out of cotton, not the uh, chenille pipe cleaners. These things are made out of polyester and that won't work. They'll just melt but cotton pipe cleaners like this. You can get them at most any tobacco shop. Anyway, I took this stuff, dipped it in wax a couple of times, cut off a piece, and then just stuck it in the candle like so. I'm trying a new camera here, an above shot camera, so I'll see what that looks like. But, so I tried that, and this is a video that I did with that test. What I'm doing here is an endurance test, testing one of my modified tea lights on the left with a standard tea light on the right. I wanted to see how long they both lasted. You can see I'm having a little bit of problems getting the modified wick to light because it's so big, whereas the standard tea light just lights right up. Okay, I'll speed this up. We'll jump through some time here. You can still see that the modified flame is much larger and I here comes something that I wasn't counting on. Watch the light on the left. It's going, going, gone. Because I didn't put a base or anything on it, it's just a wick stuck in there. When the wax melted, it just wouldn't stand up. So I have to make something different there. So you can tell from the video that didn't work so good. Just using a straight piece of pipe cleaner that's been waxed in the candle. When the wax all melted, it just fell over. So I figured I have to do something else. And what I did was took that same uh, pipe cleaner and just made a stand out of the piece on the bottom. See if you can see it from this one. Now you can see the difference in the two different wicks. This is the standard wick and this is my wick. I just covered this in wax stuck it underneath the tea light and put it back in its pan and then what you do is you just cut off the wick at about a quarter inch length that's what they always said to do so I did that with four of them and what I want to do today is a quick test to see if this will get water to a boil now I tried it with this pot stand and I ended up sooting the pot so this isn't tall enough I'm going to use one of my old hardware wire cloth pot stands, just like so. This is a little bit taller. The flames won't, or they didn't before, won't touch the bottom of the pot, so I'm hoping there won't be any sooting with that. Let me go get my pot clean, get some water prepped though, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I got my water prepped. It's getting ready to change back and forth, but it's two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Let me put it on the flame, start that. Um, I pre-started the candles because as you saw in that other little clip, they're a little bit hard to get started, but they do go. So let's see if this gets water to a boil and how long it takes. Okay, we're now two minutes into the test. The temperature's gotten up to 100, and, or rather to 86 degrees, 87. I think you can see the flames are pretty nice. They're not touching the bottom of the pot. 
but maybe it could be shrunk down just a little bit the pot stand I mean but it's a nice healthy flame so let's see if this does get the water to a boil okay there we have 210 211 <clears throat> oops and I'm getting some soot build up here now I'll explain that in just a minute let's get this come on kick it over 211 212 in 14 minutes 26 seconds cool so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees did get to a boil in 14 minutes 26 seconds as you can see um, the wax in all of the tea candles is melted and the, the wicks themselves are still standing now the one problem that I have there's soot coming up the side that could have slowed it down as the wax melted and was consumed the wicks got longer when the wicks got longer the flames got bigger and touched then the flames touch the bottom of the pot and you get soot let me take this out nice boiler dump this out you can see some pretty nice flames there and again the wax is completely melted in each of the tea teacups and the wick is still standing yeah quite a bit of soot there because as they, as the wicks got longer from the wax melting away they got taller and then touched the bottom of the pot up until that time as long as the flame wasn't touching the bottom of the pot um, there was no soot at all let me just move that so pretty cool I don't know what I can do about the wicks getting longer maybe you just need a taller pot stand and expect it to go just a little bit slower but there's what I call my wickedly modified tea light candles using cotton pipe cleaners remember cotton pipe cleaners not the uh, pipe cleaners like what you get in a craft store those are usually made out of polyester plastic and they'll just melt down it needs to be cotton pipe cleaners and you can get those at most places that sell uh, pipe tobacco and stuff so it does work if you needed to you could do it but I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now